Hi everyone, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room. Stopping in to tell you hi and let you know what I'm doing today. Well today I wanted to show you all of my June makes. And I was busy in the month of June. My sister, I made her three tops. So I can't show those to you, uh, but she has three. In the month of June, I did uh, the Love Notions, all Love Notion patterns. And I only did two patterns, but uh, I made a lot of each of those patterns. Uh, the Dolman top, I really, are not Dolman sleeve. The Melody top, uh, I made that, I bet seven times. And then the Classic Tee, I made a dress out of it. So this is one of the dresses that I made. And the fabric, I'm sure this fabric came from Walmart. This is by far my favorite one. And then the next two dresses, the fabric came from So So English. And this is a pretty stretchy one. So this, I ended up cutting some of this off just because it, it stretches so much. But the classic tee, those both are v-neck. And this was the damaged piece of fabric from So So English. And they did give me a refund on it. But I do not care for the quality of their fabric. And here is the, and I don't know if you can see it, but right here is the white marks and then the big snag. So that's the damage dress and it's in the back, so I don't care. I just still wanted to use it. This is my favorite top, the Melody top. And this fabric came from Hobby Lobby. It has embroidered roses on it. And this is my favorite. It's a cotton, very thin. Maybe, I don't know my uh, fabrics very well, but this is some type of a cotton blend. And it is a uh, much lighter, much lighter. And you don't have to iron this one. <laughs> this Doman, or this Melody top, the fabric came from uh, Metro Textiles, and it's a border print. And I really like it, really, really like it. Might need to take in the sides a little bit. I did size mediums in all of these. This was the first attempt. I made it out of, this is fabric from Walmart that I probably paid $1.50 a yard for this. And then my uh, Juki machine, I sewed all these with my Juki machine even though the bottom tension was kind of off. But, and I did this stitching with the Juki machine, the fancy stitching. And I made pants to match this, some crop pants with big pockets. I don't care how these fit compared to the last pants I made. This was a McCall's pattern. And I don't have that on hand, I'm sorry. And then another Melody top and this is a thin Cotton as well and this came from Walmart and I paid a dollar a yard for this top or for this fabric So that was my June makes plus the three I Made for my sister then I went to Hobby Lobby this weekend before I went and picked up my grandbaby And I bought this fabric behind me thinking this would be the cool background for my uh, bicycle quilt and as it's hanging up there I'm not certain that I care for it that well but uh, let me put my black up this is going to be the lamp post and the bicycle will be so I don't know what do you think I think that'll look as a good background with the lamp post on it I don't know but uh, I bought my me some black I bought me some tree fabric. Doesn't that look like a tree trunk? So there's the tree. What I'm going to do is just glue some heat and bond on the back of it and cut, cut out the patterns that I drew out. I got a fourth yard of this and I'm gonna put heat and bond on it and just start cutting the flowers out because this is gonna be the flowers that are in the basket. And then I seen these butterflies. This pattern doesn't call for butterflies, but I there's another one that does. But I could have some butterflies in my background. 
So I thought, oh, that would be a cute applique too. And then this was on sale for $3 a yard, and I thought, well, that could be the backing of either that quilt or any quilt. So that was my little Hobby Lobby haul. And then I went to Walmart, and I seen this. And it says, Thankful and Grateful. And it's a box. I am going to use this to put my prayer request, your prayer request in, and I'm going to date them. And then the first of every year, I'm going to open it up and see which prayers were answered or how they were answered or where we're at with that prayer. And I, I really like that. So I picked that up, and I'm real thrilled about that. So... Now, I did get a lot done down here, so I'm going to uh, take the camera off and I'm going to show you what I got done so far. Uh, the hardest part's done. I got the deer out today. I put it upstairs in the bedroom. Um, I was scared to do it because I didn't know how heavy it was. And, but before I did, I had my devotion this morning and I prayed that the Lord would give me the courage, the strength, the endurance whatever I needed to t tackle that chore because I was scared of that one but after my devotion and my prayer I had the confidence I needed to do that and I did it I had to get that nail or screw in a stud so that thing would stay up there and but I did it and uh, so my husband will come home and say oh that better not fall you know how husbands are but anyway so he didn't do it so i i did it and i don't want it up here but i want to decorate my walls with quilts or whatever i want to decorate because he never comes down here and this is my little you know heaven a little heaven here on earth my vinyl room my little front room my sewing and quilting room my fabric room my uh my uh, production room. So, it, but here's the table, if I haven't showed you. I have a little table. This is a cutting table. I got it uh, Joann's or Hancock's a long time ago. But when I want to do tutorials, I will be able to just do it in here. This even spreads out further. So I will be able to do it in here. And I will be able to put uh, my sewing machine when it comes. It isn't that heavy. So I will be able to just put it on this table and do my tutorials when I want to do a tutorial. Not that I'm an expert at anything. I'll, when I do tutorials, I'm just showing you how I do things and the process that I go through doing them. Uh, if anybody can learn anything from them, Praise the Lord, but uh, please know that I am not an expert at anything at anything that I do. Uh, I am just showing you how I do it. So, and the update on my soul machine—it's on its way back to me. Uh, he swears the only thing that is wrong with it is that I need to use better thread. Uh, Coates and Clark is just not good, or Walmart you know, when you run to grab a, a spool of thread. But Gutterman, he said it is sewing perfectly. And I said, that's fine. You know, I bring, send it back. I don't mind buying Gutterman thread, but when you're in a pinch and you just need thread, you run to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or get whatever they have. But I'll start order me some Gutterman thread and uh, my fingers are crossed. Well, I hope my prayers are answered. That's what I really hope because I want this machine to work. And I am looking at their serger. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to buy it I, uh, from them. Uh, we'll see how my sewing machine comes out. Um, I'm not certain I'm going to buy it online. Uh, I might want to buy local. But I am looking at the Juki 1000, MO 1000 versus the Juki MO2000 Q something. Um, I think the only difference I'm seeing is that the stitches on top uh, shows you the different stitches in the display plant panel and shows you what to set your tensions on. Uh, my Viking serger has that. Uh, you just put in what type of fabric you have and it tells you how to set the Viking, which I really like it. 
Threading it is not easy, and I really like the thought of that air threading. And uh, so we'll see. I'm still kind of doing some investigating. If you guys can uh, tell me what you think uh, the MO1000 or the MO2000 in Juki self threading or air threading machine, uh, what do you find? I mean, I think there's only like $400 difference of, of either. But um, if I buy it through where I bought this machine, he would throw in the bundle for the $1,000. Uh, I would get it for $1,200, and he's throwing in six feet, eight spools of thread, uh, a $50 gift certificate, uh, something else was with it, eight, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but it, you, you got a few things with the, uh, the bundle. And uh, I thought the $50 gift certificate was pretty good because then I could buy a lot of Gutterman thread. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not certain. I'm going to get my sew machine and see how well it is. I had to get kind of snotty with them. The ladies a couple times said, my machine is there. My money's with you. I bought a sewing machine because I apparently want to be sewing. Now, this is the third week and I'm not sewing and you still have my money. I could be taking my money and going buying me something. So they called me the next day, the technician, and he assured me that they ran through that machine, everything's working, and he just suggests that I use the correct needles and thread. So I don't know, we'll see. I, I will, I love the machine and I will give it a try. And, uh, I like the machine so much that I do want a Juki serger, so. But if you can give me any ideas of what sergers you have and uh, if you think Juki's a good serger, let me know. So, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. I hope all of you had a great 4th of July. I did. I had my grandbaby, uh, and I'll insert some pictures at the end of this video. I had her on the uh, Friday, and we swam, and we, uh, we just did grandma and grandbaby things, and Papa let off some fireworks for her. She's scared. She does not like fireworks. I took her to go find fireworks, and that was the oddest adventure going find fireworks because she wanted fireworks that didn't go ping, 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 ping. She didn't want none of the noises. So we're looking for fireworks that don't make noise, just pretties. So that was, that was a chore in itself, but she didn't even want any fireworks. She doesn't like them. But we did have a good night, and uh, we set, got pizza and ate pizza while Papa lit fireworks, and so we had a good time. And then him and I just had a quiet 4th of July and grilled out and uh, sat here and listened. I, he went to bed, but I went outside and watched all the, everybody, the whole neighborhood lighten them up. So it was nice. So I hope you guys all had a safe and nice 4th of July too. So I will let you go and I will show you around what I've got accomplished so far downstairs. And uh, I will talk to you soon. You guys go out, have a great week, and whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord, and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everybody. Bye-bye. All right, this is my vinyl room that I've gotten done so far. Over there, I do my embroidery stuffed animals and Easter baskets and Easter bunnies and but this is where I'm going to be doing my vinyl those are rolls of vinyl and let me take you around and there's my heat press And I'll hang my t-shirts up there, I guess. And here's the mess I'm still working on. So I ended up with one bag of fabric left. So I'm going through that. This is Christmas fabric and my 
Easter and holiday fabric. All my stuffing and batting is in there. Uh, T-shirts where I do all my vinyl I put in there. And that is applique and embroidery stuff that I use up there. This I'm not sure if I'm taking this down and putting it in the other room uh, or not. So I thought thread would really look nice on there but I don't use thread in here so but my vinyl room and I've already came down here and made some t-shirts for my grandbabies for 4th of July and I'll take you in here grandbaby's toy she spent the weekend with me this weekend and we had a good time now that there someone gave me an excellent idea for all these drawers we do not do scrapbooking anymore so I just put that in a big tote but what I did put in here let's see if I can show you all my ribbons I color coordinated my ribbons So they go down, down, blue, that blue needs to be up there, green, but all of these drawers are full of embellishments. This is all my rickrack, this is all my binding, or bias tape, I guess it's binding, cording, open drawer let's see oh now we're going into my laces but that's what I did with all these drawers that took a day in itself I have some drawers left here and I'm thinking maybe some buttons some zippers we'll see but uh, I got the majority of the mess organized and put in all those drawers. This came from an optical place. It used to put glasses in there. And it's an antique, so I really like this piece. But uh, I'm working on stuff over here there, still collecting trash. So, but I'm using that table right now is to do my organizing. And uh, me and grandbaby sat down here while she played with all of her toys and I kind of cold down here so I have plenty of blankets. Still have all of that, but that's the last pile of fabric I have to go through. And oh, I feel so accomplished. So, vinyl room, embellish room, embellishments, and kind of a little front room. Utility room is over there. And then here is my sewing area. Lights are off, sorry. So this is all sewing and quilting. Still a little messy, just clean up. And here is my projector room and my filming room and fabric. I'm going to put get all of my fabric up here. All in on these shelves. So there's the update of my basement. And uh, it's coming along pretty good I would say. I am real pleased with myself that I've gotten this far. <laughs> so anyway, I think that is it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed my update of my downstairs uh, sewing room. I know you're not sorry.
You got to squirt the other way. That yeah, it's much better. Thank you. go I will talk to you soon um, I'm wearing one of my vinyl shirts mm. this tells the truth too because I don't give up so <laughs> but all right you guys you guys go out and have a blessed week and I will talk to you soon God bless everyone bye bye